So we are looking at the Raitaki MMO gaming mouse, which is a gaming mouse with 12 thumb buttons, and this is the software which you use to configure your mouse. On the, when you load up the Rataki R6 software, you can see the first screen has your um, screen where you assign each button. Uh, it shows you the defaults. I've already customized some of them, but you basically choose which button you want by you know following the line, and then you can assign a macro, multimedia, make it change the DPI, open up a specific application, do specific functions in Office like cut, paste, things like that, act like a wheel click, etc. So in this case, I assign them usually customizable buttons, like you know assigning a shortcut, which is going to be whether or not you want um, a button that's on the keyboard or key on the keyboard. Control, Shift, Alt, and then that key itself. So I have my configuration set up for Elite Dangerous, where I have my cargo scoop deploy, undeploy, my landing gear, uh, my map, my system map, you know, targets, various things like that. So my mouse is completely replacing all my G keys on my Logitech keyboard now with all thumb buttons. So I had nine keys customized on my Logitech G910 keyboard, and now I've converted it to where I'm only using the thumb buttons on the mouse so uh, the only keys I'm using on my keyboard are actually for movement itself but not for any of the other functions that I was using the custom keys for so in using it my thumb can easily hit 1 to 3 and 4 to 6 and then the back part of my thumb just on the underside of the knuckle can hit 10, 11, and 12 I'm still training my thumb to hit buttons 7, 8, and 9 those to me are the hardest ones um, for me to hit with my thumb while I'm using this natively, but as I use the mouse more and more, it's becoming more comfortable. You can also see the default DPI buttons. If you want to customize the DPIs, you can go to advanced settings and then you see the various DPI default settings. Each color has a different DPI setting up to its max, so it ranges from 800 to 16400, and Basically, if you say you want your mouse to glow blue, then make blue the DPI you want your mouse to be at most of the time. If you want your mouse to glow red, then make re you know red the one you want your DPI to be the most of the time. So right now, I find for the most everyday usages, I use um you know I use orange, and I currently have my DPI as the default 3200. I had no reason particularly to play around and change these numbers around and tweak it. I don't play that many FPS games to where I could tweak it that much. You know, other than the mouse moving super fast with you know with the DPI and things like that, and you want a higher DPI. DPI when you're doing much more precise movements and various things like that. I don't play around too much with the little levels in between. There's enough of a jump between these that I usually get what I need just by doing flipping through the defaults. But you can also adjust the pointer speed, the double click speed, how fast the scroll wheel goes, as well as the sensitivity itself. The pull rate is also important. You might want to boost up the pull rate so that it keeps pulling more frequently. That way, you're constantly getting a more precise movement as well. So by default, I would increase the pull rate to 1,000 hertz instead of 500. That's just what I would do by default with this mouse when you get it and you set it up, especially for gaming. So you can customize the light color and have it be a custom light color in any color that you want. And it will override the default light color for that DPI when you click the apply button. But this applies only for the Raitaki logo that's in front of the mouse. It won't change the color of the scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel color will always still be one of these default DPI colors. But you could change the color of the Raitaki logo on the front of the mouse where your palm is to be any specific solid color that you want. That way you can at least have that logo be whatever color. But the scroll wheel color will always be the color of the DPI setting listed here. You can also control the brightness as well as whether or not it blinks or breathes and how fast the, the light moves up and down in the pattern of the Raitaki logo as well. So for my macro manager here, you would build your own macro sequences. Say you want your button to record a sequence of keys or a sequence of, of things that it does rather than just be a single control F1 or control F2, but you want it to be up, up, down, left, right. To, you know, you can build in your set of macros here. And I had no problems with recording the macros and setting the macros and then playing back the macros by pressing a thumb button either. So this is an overview of the Rataki R6 MMO gaming mouse software and how you customize your Rataki MMO gaming mouse to leverage the 12 thumb buttons so that basically you don't have to use your keyboard for anything but your movement keys and you can use everything off of your thumb for most of your games that you play. Thank you for watching.